I'm Karen Collins, and I'm here today with Dr. Elizabeth Jeffrey from the University of Illinois. She's well known for doing research on compounds in foods that are important to our health and what happens that makes them more or less available for our uh, digestion and ability to use them for health. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, you're very welcome. You were doing a, a fascinating presentation yesterday at the AICR Research Conference on broccoli and how cooking changes all those good things we get from it. It does, but some cooking is a positive change and some is negative, so we just have to know what we're doing. And, and that's really, I think, fascinating is so often people are in one camp or the other and they think, oh no, you should definitely eat it raw because that's better. And then other people hear about some of the carotenoids in tomatoes and how cooking mm -hmm. makes them more available. That's right. So uh, give us the rundown. If, if we're eating it raw, what are, we, what, what are we missing? I mean, obviously we're still getting plenty of good things. Oh, we are, yes. And I often eat it raw. But um, even if you're going to serve um, like an hors d'oeuvre tray with broccoli and a, a dip on it, actually, if you just very briefly blanch it, and I mean just like 20 seconds to 30 seconds in the boiling water and then out and into cold water. It goes that bright green, it looks pretty, and it's actually already better for you. Now if you boil past a minute, it starts to go downhill fast. Because usually boiling is not what we would recommend. Exactly. Right? So I would normally recommend if you're going to eat it at the evening meal, that you steam it. You know, I have a, um, a metal steamer that just mm -hmm. fits on top of the my... steam basket? Yes, it just fits on top of my, my saucepan and I use it all the time. I throw all of my vegetables in there when I'm preparing them. But for broccoli, it's a special case because uh, the compound that we want the most, although there are several good things in broccoli, the compound that we want the most is called sulforaphane. And it's not just sitting free in the, in the parent vegetable. Um, it's actually attached to sugar in the vegetable. And you've got to break the sugar off. And for broccoli, that's a little different from breaking it off from, from other compounds because it's joined by a sulfur. And what does that mean? It means that the broccoli itself has an enzyme that will do that job for you. Okay. And so the reason you need to be a little cautious about how much you cook is because you could destroy that enzyme if you overcook. And overcooking for steaming is past about five minutes, but overcooking for boiling is past about one minute. Okay? And so that's why I don't recommend boiling. Steaming is just great. And what happens if you don't do that? If you eat raw, for example, you're getting some sulforaphane. But when the enzyme cuts off the sugar, it makes a unstable intermediate that then can rearrange to form sulforaphane or it can rearrange to form a nitrile that doesn't have any activity. Now in order to do that second rearrangement, there has to be another protein sitting on the enzyme. That protein is very, very heat sensitive. So when you just boil for 20 seconds or steam for three or four minutes, you destroy that protein, you no longer form any nitrile, and all you form is sulforaphane, so you get a lot more. And when I say a lot more, I mean it depends upon variety, but one of the common varieties is Majestic. You only get 12% sulforaphane before you kill off that enzyme. Okay, and so it really does make a very, very big wow. difference. So eating it raw, you would only get 12% of the sulforaphane That's you'd right. expect based on the parent compound. That's right, yes. Wow. Yes. So, okay. now for those of us like me that like broccoli, we don't mind, we'll just eat five or six times more, <laughs> but for some people they would prefer look, to get the You are majority. still getting the vitamin C, you're still getting many oh, other nutrients. Yes. It's just this unique compound, which is... A lot of what attracts people to uh, nutritionalize to the cruciferous vegetables is this unique right. isothiocyanate, like sulforaphane. 